A single star is all it takes to light the Christmas sky, reflecting light between snowy flakes like a twinkling, blinking eye. O watchful wanderer of the night, we trace your guardian glow to a ragged man and his homeless plight, whose face we hardly know. In the chilling air he can be found, curled up in a fetal state, as he gathers warmth from the lowly ground and the breath of the subway grate. One by one we pass him by and don't look him in the face for fear that we might catch his eye and discover our human race. Yet Christmas comes but once a year. It's a time to do for others, to feed the poor or dry a tear among the neediest of brothers. So happens that one Christmas night that women and men were led by the magic glow of a stellar light to the poor and the nearly dead. They followed down the darkest way through a corridor of trouble and found the beggar as he lay amid the dogs and rats and rubble. The guiding light had come to rest and beamed on the tired frame. And in the shadows of the starlit nest were the women and men that came. Birthed from the ground from which he nestled, he rose then straightened up. To his guests he raised his earthen vessel, what looked like the beggar's cup. One by one the coins did drop from the crowd for drinking bread, and when the cup filled to the top, the beggar was fully fed. In a humble way he walked about, and with the collection cup held high, he slowly poured the money out, neath the father in the sky. Then he took his wrinkled wretched hand, in the cup he placed it deep and drew out a crumb of bread he'd planned to feed the gathered sheep. They broke the bread in a simple feast. The bread did not deplete, as they shared their joy among the least of their brothers in the street. But before the crowd went on their way, they were blessed with many gifts. For the spirit of this Christmas day spread presents in the drifts. The snowflakes heaped in heaven's hold were sprinkled in the air, and as they fell, they turned to gold upon the beggar's hair. This golden gift was one of three that the beggar would receive, and his squalid stench would prove to be a miracle to reprieve. Through the gentle wind came the second gift. It was the smell of a fragrant bloom. As the beggar's stench did surely lift, it transformed to sweet perfume. The final gift was to ease the pain from his broken, chafing skin. As the cold, wet snow turned to oily rain to cleanse away all sin. In awe, the gathered flock stood up, or the beggar as he rest, with his prized possession, his beggar's cup, tucked tight to his beating breast. They came to give, to soothe. To heal when they were guided by the light. Instead, they feasted on a meal with a beggar one Christmas night. <laughs>